Hey everybody, we're back with Medium Core Terraria Master Mode. This time I'm going to be trying something that might be a little more difficult. We're going to be using yo-yos only. Now I'm honestly not sure how doable or how difficult this is going to be, but I don't really have a choice but to just give it a shot. I mean, I'm pretty much already set on doing this, so I just hope it was a good idea. And if you're wondering why I chose yo-yos only, thank you to this comment right here because I didn't really know what to do next, so I just took this suggestion and was like, you know what? That seems like it'd be kind of difficult, but also kind of fun. So I went with this. This may be painful, but hey, we'll make it through it. First things first, we start off this run like every other Terraria run pretty much. Just get wood and we're going straight into caving. Sadly, early game for yo-yos is going to be kind of difficult because I only really have the wooden yo-yo and it's kind of hard to get an upgrade with this thing. So I'm just making do with what I got. I had two close calls while trying to get a wooden yo-yo, but hey, we finally got it. And to be honest, this thing does like no damage, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I also crafted a little bit of cactus armor because I mean, hey, one to two defense is better than zero, right guys? Listen, I know it's only two, but it is already proven useful. I would have definitely died to that slime if I didn't have this armor on. So, you know, I guess it, I guess it served its purpose, so I can't really complain. Self defense. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god. Never mind. This just sucks. Oh, I'm good. So, right now, the goal is to go searching for some good accessories and maybe even a little bit of ore so I could get better armor because upgrading a yo yo early on is going to be pretty damn difficult. But honestly, I'm just really glad that I found Hermes boots early on. Oh my god. I found Hermes boots that early on. Holy crap. This is a really good find because normally this takes a while for me to find. So, I mean, I'll take it. Honestly, this right here, this, this right here proves why I need more HP and armor. Mine. So me hitting you right now don't actually count. What? Well, you know what they say. I don't know what they say, but it damn sure ain't. I would mine a heart crystal and get killed by a boulder instantly type shit. Yeah, so that happened. Even as someone who's been playing the game for as long as I have, I still died to traps left and right. Okay, okay. Three times in a row is kind of ridiculous. I'm not even sure. When I'm looking at this in post, I have no idea how I died so many times to traps. Once, okay. Twice, crazy. Three times, okay. At this point, I'm asking for it. I hope it doesn't increase any more than that. Maybe I'm foreshadowing. I'm not sure. I just don't know why I was stepping into every single trap that was in front of me. So I just decided to take the hint and just go home. That's it. No more mining. Three deaths already is enough. I was trying to get zero and we're already at three and we're not even 20 minutes in. I built me and my NPCs a quick cozy house and then we went right back into it. Yep, right back into mining like none of that just happened. I found absolutely nothing and I almost died. So, I mean, I guess that's good, right? Oh yeah, yeah, we're definitely cooking now. I died to another trap. I'm not pissed off. No, why would I be? You're pissed off. No, not me. Yeah, no, just, just, just give me a bit. You know, I'm still warming up to this. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because even after all those deaths, I'm still able to upgrade my gear and I did get a couple of accessories. Nothing too amazing, but now I thought it was a good time to start the elevator. Because honestly, I still need a couple of life crystals and this will be a good way to find more chest and some more life crystals so that happened i almost died so you know now's a good time to look for sky islands yeah i think that's a good idea i could use a couple of accessories from those because clearly going in the caves is probably one of the worst things i could do right now i did find a couple useful accessories which is pretty good and i'll, I'll take it now I think it's time to head into the jungle. I think we're pretty well equipped to at least search for some more accessory upgrades or some ore for armor upgrades. Now I'll be honest, it wasn't just for accessories or armor, it was kind of for the yo-yo as well, but that would be kind of a grind, especially with the wooden yo-yo and how much damage things do here. But thankfully, I didn't even know this was a drop. I forgot, maybe I did, I don't know. I killed the salamander, the first one I killed by the way, and I got the rally, which from looking up is a pretty rare drop. So I'm not complaining. That's probably one of the best things that's happened this run. And that's amazing. I'll take it. That yo-yo probably saved me so many deaths. So many. So, hey, that skipped a big part of grinding for me. Well, I mean, I thought it would save me from a lot of deaths, but apparently it doesn't. It doesn't stop boulders. So, uh... Yeah, that's a thing, I guess. Listen, I know that's like death six or seven just the traps. I honestly don't know what was going on with me when I was playing this. Maybe I just wasn't having a good day. But hey, thankfully I had a little bit of backup gear and I just went right back and picked up all my stuff with pretty much no issues. I decided then to just head home and get myself a full set of platinum armor, which 
should stop me from regular deaths, not boulders, regular deaths from now on. Hopefully. I mean, have I died to anything that's not a trap? I don't remember. But we won't be dying to traps, I think. And that's all that matters. Now, honestly, at this point, I still wanted to craft the Amazon. I'm not sure why. I know it gives like two damage. You know what? Yeah, two damage is a lot in the long term, especially against bosses. So I did want to craft that over the rally. But the game decided that it had other plans for me. Yep, a damaged yo-yo. So that was pointless. Isn't that fun? And then to add on to the good luck, the I Cthulhu decided to just show up and be like, hey, I'm gonna spawn now. And I didn't really want to fight it yet, but I knew I could pretty much handle it because I have a full set of platinum gear and a pretty decent weapon. So I decided why not just give it a shot and fight it. You know what time it is? It's time to fight the Eye of Chilulu. I should be able to defeat it, to be honest. This should be pretty easy with my gear. The fight didn't go that bad. It went pretty damn well. Well, I mean, for the first boss, yeah. But yo-yos are pretty decent early game depending on which boss you're fighting, so I'll just take the W. Honestly, after all that, I just decided to take this free time and just flatten out the land above my house. This is a typical thing I'm gonna do in every run. It just helps with future boss fights and even the little raids that we may get from goblins or rarely pirates, hopefully never pirates, but it didn't take too long and I wanted to wait for the goblins anyway so I could reforge my Amazon, so it wasn't too much of an issue. Wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, the Brain of Cthulhu. I honestly forgot that I was supposed to fight this guy. So I think I'm just gonna do that now, shall we? Let's let's just, let's just get this out the way. Screw it. Yeah, we're fighting him. Oh, snap, it's the Brain! It's the Brain! Yo, my boy. I'm dead. Um, yo-yos kind of suck against the Brain. Um, oh my god. Yo-yos kind of suck. Oh my god. Yo-yos kind of suck. I mean... Yo, yo, oh yeah. I mean, good thing I have a lot of defense because I'm melee, but I'm getting hit every second. Okay. Come on. There you go, all right. It's just a brain now. Now that fight got a little scary at some points. Getting a little low there, but I handled it pretty well. And I'll take it because honestly, this guy drops one of the best accessories in the game, in my opinion, in my opinion, okay? This will help us stay alive as long as we need, as long as RNG decides to bless me. Will it? Probably not, but hey, I like to gamble. Who doesn't? Now I finally built myself a new yo-yo with the Crimtain bars, which does exactly one more damage. I know, amazing, right? And then coincidentally, the goblin army decided to spawn. So now I'm able to take care of them, unlock the goblin, and this will help me in terms of having more accessories equipped so i mean it's a win-win i'll take it now i went ahead and upgraded my boots to the lightning boots and my balloon into the triple horseshoe balloon these are pretty much going to be essential for my movement for now and allow me to dodge more attacks a lot easier than before so i felt like with these equipped i was pretty much ready for skeletron as there really wasn't many upgrades i could do at this point besides one if you could figure that one out for yourself but now is the time for skeletron look at me I'm gonna be honest, I do 30 damage a tick and he has 12,000 HP. So just let that sink in. The fight went pretty well, which makes sense because the gear I have now is pretty good for where I'm at. And now comes the painful part, 
farming the dungeon. Yes, I had to farm the dungeon for quite a long time just to get a couple of golden keys so I can get the other yo-yo upgrade. And believe it or not, this took a really long time. A little longer than I hoped it would, but I mean, if you see my luck in guns only, you would know that it takes a while to look for the specific item you're looking for, especially when every chest wants to give you an aqua scepter for some reason. And this just reminds me, if there's one thing that I hate in base area, it's probably just farming for keys or maybe looking for voodoo demons those two things usually take forever and i was honestly about to give up but after sitting for about 30 more minutes you know as you do i finally got the yo-yo which again is a small damage increase but you're gonna see that that small damage increase makes a huge difference for the next fight with that being said i went into how to get my gear upgraded to hellstone and this pretty much sets us at the best gear we can get from my knowledge and the best yo-yo, I think, for the Wall of Flesh? Wait, wait, I know I'm the one writing the script, but I'm looking back now and I forgot about this part. I went back to fight the Queen Bee because she had a yo-yo that does a little less damage, but it does spawn bees. So I was thinking maybe I could use this against the Wall of Flesh as well for a little bit of extra damage. I was kind of just getting my hands on anything I could just to make the fight a little easier. Because the Wall of Flesh is one of the bosses that I think I was most afraid of this run. So once I found the Beehive, I expanded it a bit just to make the fight a little easier. And you know, I'm normally afraid of the Queen Bee in Master Mode, but this time... She was pretty easy, and I'm really not surprised because I pretty much have the best gear in early hard mode, so thankfully that went by pretty smoothly, and you don't actually have to get a drop for it. You could just craft it using the things, I forgot what they're called, that she drops, so I don't have to farm her at all. And now we're pushing towards the end of early hard mode, where I can go to hell and just start building this long arena, which apparently wasn't long enough, but you'll see that later. And now I'm pretty much minimaxing my gear as much as I can, farming up gold so I can reforge everything to warding, reforging my yo-yos to have the best damage modifiers, and getting as many good potions as I can, because this is going to be a pretty tough fight. It took a long, long while before I was able to find a single voodoo demon. Honestly, this is one of the reasons why I hate base area. I personally feel like it shouldn't take this long to farm up a boss summon, but hey, what do I know? I did eventually find one, and here is the first fight of the Wall of Flesh. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Yeah, I can't beat it. I have to do it again. Ooh, this is really risky, because if I die here, I lose everything. Ah, shit, 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 wait. I'm gonna have to just leave the game. I can't. Ah, it's not enough damage! Ah. So, that one didn't go too well. And I'm gonna show you all the attempts and how long it took me to beat this guy. This is with the extended yo-yo, by the way. Barely reaches. I can't reach him! I literally can't! This game is anti-yo-yo, I can't. Ah, shit. Uh, shit. I can't back up. If I back up, it's just gonna spawn more and more and more. I gotta keep dealing damage. Am I sure this is going to be possible in Master Mode? <laughs> this ain't even the hardest boss I gotta do. I can't get close at all. No, wait! No, 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 wait, 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 wait! Please, no! 40 oh, HP! No. Bees, please, no! <laughs> no, the bees didn't get them, they're too slow! I should have swapped yo-yos there. I should have swapped yo-yos. I know, I was doing really bad here. But since you all been waiting for it, here is the winning attempt at the Wall of Flesh. The bees are too slow. It would have died too. One bee hit, it would have died. But they're just so damn slow. Let's try this again. Let's get some hits in. Nice. The more hits, the more bees. The more bees, the less hungry. Ah, shit. Oh, no, no, I can't get up. This is just spawning bees on bees on bees on bees. Ah, shit. Oh, it's way too close. No, 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 I dashed forward by mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. These hungry are being assholes. 
There we go. There we go. Yeah, this is it. This is it. There we go. Woohoo! Yeah! Hip hip hooray! Yeah, that took way longer than expected. But hey, look, we're in hard mode now. Yay, I, I guess. So hard mode, hard mode, hard mode. I know. Isn't it exciting? I think first things first, as per usual, we're gonna go destroy the altars and see what type of ores we get. We didn't get anything crazy from these. I think we got what? Adamantite, not titanium. Wait, I said adamantite or titanium? I forgot. I, I got one of the two. It doesn't matter. Just scratch that. Ignore what I said. But anyways, now is the time to start farming up the gear and accessories I needed. And a new yo-yo, of course, because my yo-yo is now complete garbage. And I really don't know why or how, but my luck has been going pretty well. I found the skeleton merchant literally in the first cave I went into. And that's amazing because that gives me the yo-yo glove and it gives me a new yo-yo, which is pretty good pretty good now there is multiple upgrades i can get but for now we're gonna make do with this and this is way more than i would have expected to even get so this will be perfect for a while now and now i have the yo-yo bag and i'm able to make the yo-yo glove wait i said that backwards wait yeah you know what i mean it, it's some one of those two and now it's just gear upgrading time Okay, all gear upgrading aside, I honestly felt like I was pretty much ready to fight the first boss. And since I found a twin summon, why not just do the twins first? I know it's like one to two nights, no joke, in the hard mode, but I felt like I was pretty ready. So let's see how this goes. I can't get hit. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. He's so low. And he... Oh, the NPC killed him. <laughs> <laughs> First night in hard mode. I beat a hard mode boss. Can you get more better than that? Can you get better than that? It, it didn't go the smoothest it could have went. And I mean, it's my own fault for not setting up an arena. But I'm still pretty proud of myself that I was able to do that that fast. And I got to give some credit to the yo-yo, man. These things get pretty good once you hit hard mode. Speaking of getting pretty good, here's something funny that happened. I decided to go to the jungle because, you know, the jungle has a hard mode yo-yo. I forgot when it's obtainable. But it's probably like the best one I can obtain at this moment, if I'm not mistaken. And normally every Terraria playthrough I play, I get like six or seven of these things. 20 maybe always in my inventory and it always drops but the one time i'm doing a yo-yo playthrough it just doesn't want to drop i was farming here for quite a minute now the dropper isn't the lowest that i've ever seen and it just never drops so i gave up i just couldn't be bothered to be honest i just decided to use that time instead to go find the shimmer biome because i completely forgot about this but when i remembered i thought i might as well do it because small buffs are small buffs yeah they're very minor like four defense or a little bit of life regen but that's better than zero defense and zero life regen so i got a couple of those permanent buffs just to help out of it and honestly with those i think the next goal is to pretty much just get a full set of hollowed armor and i did i used the twins as my farming method for the hollowed bars since i knew that skeleton and destroy are probably going to be a bit more difficult and this will make their fights a little easier once they get a full set and now with this i'm pretty much able to fight skeleton
The fight with Skeletron honestly didn't go as bad as the twins, and I just pretty much started preparing for the destroyer. And from experience with guns only and melee only, I know he can be very tanky. So I decided to use the shimmer to convert my emblem over to a warrior emblem, just for the little bit of extra damage because honestly, we're probably gonna need it. I also reforged a bit more of my accessories, and while I was playing, I did learn at some point that melee speed affects yo-yo length, so now I know that it's not completely useless, which is pretty cool. I know this would have definitely helped when fighting the wall of flesh, but hey, now I know. You live and you learn. I do have three new accessories, one of which being the moon charm. This is gonna help because we fight the destroyer at night, and it gives buffs when it's night. Another being the mag luminescence, which I forgot this existed. I was supposed to have this at the start. This is pretty much self-explanatory. It's in every one of my runs, and it's a staple. And the last one is the berserker glove for the extra melee damage and speed for the length so I can reach the destroyer if needed, and for a little bit of defense. And with all of that, I'm pretty much ready to fight the destroyer now. And that right there is the last mechanical boss I needed and all threw it down. There we go. That wasn't that bad, right? I, I honestly didn't think that was that bad. That was probably the easiest one I've had so far out of all three of the runs I did. And we're getting closer and closer to finishing this run. So far, hard mode is treating me a lot better than pre-hard mode did, and I'll take it. Now it's time to start preparing for Plantera, which doesn't need much preparation, given that she's one of the easiest hard mode bosses, in my opinion. And I kind of just gave up on getting life fruit. I got bored. You know, the extra HP is really useful, but when you're mindlessly mining and you don't find any, it kind of gets a little boring. So I just went ahead and built myself an arena real quick for Plantera. I didn't feel like I really needed any gear upgrades or anything because she's pretty easy so I decided to just start this one straight away. And as expected the fight went pretty well. I mean let's be honest it's Plantera. I said it multiple times she's easy I don't know how you could struggle with this boss ever no matter what class you're playing maybe summoner but that doesn't matter. Well we finally made it to probably one of the second most boring, or the first, depending on how you see it, parts of the run, the dungeon. Now, the dungeon has the best yo-yo, yet again, that I can get at this moment, besides the Eye Cthulhu, but I would probably need this one first, and it has a pretty small chance to drop. It's about a 1 in 400, which isn't the lowest drop rate I've ever farmed for, but just like every other run, I get this yo-yo so many times, and this time, it took like 30 to 40 minutes, or even an hour, of just straight up farming. I got every single dungeon drop, no joke, from the sniper to the shotgun, to the mask, to the fork, to the shadow beam staff, except the yo-yo. And this was honestly really painful, and I was honestly debating on just giving up, but I knew I was so close to finishing the run that I had to just, I had to stay. At some point, it would drop. At some point. Like, this took so long that I started to begin to think that this wasn't even real, or it was obtainable after Gollum or something. But this was a massive damage boost and range boost, and I really needed it. And then guess what happened? It finally dropped. And it was godly when I found it, which is pretty insane. I'm just glad that I found it. I would have reforged it anyway, but hey, I'll take it. Hour, I guess, well spent. Not really. That's out of the way. Oh, I got it. I finally got it. Let's go. I got it. Now I went and upgraded some of my accessories and even finally replaced the brain of Cthulhu with Master Ninja gear. And now I decided to upgrade my hollowed gear into turtle armor. So I had to farm up some turtle shells and chlorophyte. You know, that didn't take too long. It just took a little bit. And I went inside the temple and now this time I needed a solar tablet so I can get the Eye of Cthulhu because this is the best yo-yo in the game. Obviously besides the terrarium, that doesn't count because you know, it's after Moon Lord. And I needed this to fight Gollum. I started a solar eclipse and this didn't take as long as I thought it would. I got it on the first Mothra spawn. It took a really long time for it to spawn but as long as i got it the first try or got it in general that's all i cared about and now it's pretty much time to fight Gollum. and sadly my temple arena
arena was extremely small but at least my yo-yo range is really long and i had a lot of good defense and pretty good mobility at this point so it shouldn't be too hard Now that fight went really smooth. I didn't think it would go as smooth as it did. I thought it would be a little harder because Gollum is pretty annoying, especially when the arena is this small, but I'll take it. He's definitely not one of the hardest bosses. He is the worst boss in my opinion. I just don't think he's a good boss fight, but he's out the way. This unlocks a couple more things that we can craft before we head on into endgame. Now we do get a little armor upgrade. We get the beetle armor. I crafted both chest plates, the melee one and the defense one. We're mainly going to be using the defense one. I never really swapped it out. I tried using the melee one. It's not better. It's it, you're better off just using in defense they deal too much damage so that's gonna be on for most of the run and i did upgrade one of my accessories to the celestial sigil i think that's what it's called this is one of the better accessories in the game that's pretty much a staple in like every one of the runs you do at least in my my runs they are or it is and now unless i'm forgetting something we're pretty much at full potential this is the final version of myself that i can make and we're ready to get on into the end game the lunatic cultist was not really much of a boss he's always just a joke I, he's also pretty much a joke boss him and golem are pretty much in the same category and this leaves us with just the pillars and moon lord which the pillars are pretty annoying and a pain but they always are they're kind of just frustrating and very time consuming they're not really difficult at all so i'll just show you some bits and pieces of me fighting them because it was just a time game a little bit of patience i think i died like what once it went by pretty well standard pillar fight but with all of the pillars down it's finally time to fight the man himself the moon lord we're finally here this was a long journey but i think i'm ready to get this guy out the way he shouldn't be too much of an issue we have a lot of defense we're very tanky just need to play smart
There we go. Woo! Let's go! I did it! Let's go! Mm. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't... That wasn't so bad. Now, honestly, that fight was a bit hectic and all over the place. It was very janky. My damage was kind of okay. I felt like he was dealing quite a lot to me, but I was able to make it work. And for the first try, I'm proud. This was not one of my hardest runs, to be honest. This actually turned out to be the fastest run I did out of the three. And it was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys want to see next time. I'll be taking any suggestions. Like I said, this run was a suggested comment. They said they wanted to see yo-yos only. So I was like, sure, I'll do it. I know it took me a while to upload this video. Sometimes it might be a little long between videos. Videos. I kind of just do this for fun. I'll try to upload a little more because I do enjoy this a lot. It's just the editing process and even playing the game takes quite a while. But I think for my next video, I have something planned. Something a little bit more on the fun side. It's probably still gonna be difficult, but a little more fun. You'll see what I mean if I decide to do it. But if not, I'll definitely be taking any suggestions for the next run. Remember, we did guns only, melee only, and now yo-yos only. So leave a comment down below on what you would like to see. Thank you for watching. This video took a while to make. Glad you stood here to the end and watched the whole thing. Thank you all for your time, and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, and I'll see ya.